for some fight night. If you ain't paying attention, you're going to sleep on me and I'm going to wake you up. AJ, man, I always love the great voice of Bobby King Green letting them know if they sleep on us, man, they going to get woken up with a stiff right hand, a stiff left cross, something crazy like that, man. I do got to say there are some really good sleepers on this card. This is a pretty stacked card through and through. And I got to ask you to go first, my man. Who is your first sleeper for UFC Fight Night 195? I'd love to wake him up first, Derek. My, my sleeper this one leading off the way is William Knight versus Fabio Chiron. Now, we got two big boys in the 205-pound division, and William Knight, he is a bruiser who was dropping cans left and right before he got to the big show. Now that he's here, he's been taking a distance twice now and looking to get back to his KO ways. All right, now Knight has serious pop on his shots and likes to rush in for the takedown and beat you up on the ground. Now, Fabio Chirant, he got dominated in his last fight by getting slammed and choked out by Alonzo Menafield. So I'm expecting him to fight like it's D-Day on this one and really try to get one back, all right? Chirant is a very talented on the ground, and so I expect him to shoot and look for a takedown. We're going to see two big boys go at it on the ground, really try to hurt each other and put their whole, uh, hands through faces on this one. This is a sleeper to me, Derek, because both of these two have kind of started to fall away and become stale in the 205-pound division. And not only that, but Knight likes to shoot and take your head off, whereas Fabio Chirant will put you to sleep with a choke. This one is going to end fast. It's going to be a lot of fun. It can end in a multitude of ways. But regardless, it's going to be a good time. Who's your first sleeper, Derek? Well, first and foremost, man, I just need to make a comment. That is one of the best quotes that I've heard in quite some time. Likes to put hands through faces. That's what we love to see around here. Come on, baby. Come on. You dig. Um, now, let me go for my first sleeper, folks. You know what I do best. I'm talking about a women's bantamweight matchup, 135 pounds. I got Bay Malecki facing off against Josanne Nunes. And I might have uh, butchered that first name. I apologize. She is a Brazilian. She is tough as hell. And she has uh, a 7-1 and record where she won six of those seven victories via a finish man she's a knockout machine and I always bring these up as sleeper matches because I say when do you see 135 pounds or lower in the women's division that are just knocking people out left and right it's really rare when we're talking about it in the 115 pound division a little less rare when we're talking 135 pounds of course you got your Amanda Nunez's and things of that nature but I will say this is a sleeper because Bay Malecki She's young in the game. She's finished three of her four career wins via uh, a finish. You know what I'm saying? And two of them were in the first round. So when you got somebody who loves Muay Thai, who came up as a Muay Thai champion like Bay Malecki, long and lanky, facing off against another knockout artist, two fighters who love to keep it on the feet and love to bang. What else are you expecting other than fireworks, folks? Like, I'm doing easy math here for you. This is an easy sleeper. You type it into the what's a banger formula, the algorithm. You put these fighters in there and you get fireworks coming out there. And folks so that is my first sleeper aj hit me with your next yeah derek no you got it. and i'm glad you do bring up the women sleepers because these are two women going forward that can knock most of the general population out men or women but regardless for my second sleeper derek i got brian boom kelleher versus domingo pilarte now brian kelleher boom kelleher he earned his nickname for a reason Homeboy carries some power on his shots, and not only does he have the power, but he's got the heart to stay in the war, all right? Watch out for his left hand. He can drop you literally with a check hook like he's Roy Jones, all right? Now, Pilarte, he's long, he's lanky, and he's, again, super strong on his whole left side. Whether it's a kick, whether it's an uppercut, all you got to do is worry about this man's left side. He carries some serious power, even though he's a little bit under under noticed. All right. Now, this is a sleeper to me, not only because we got two very talented fighters on the prelims, but both fighters are coming off of L's. And you know, when that ego is bruised, that's when you fight the meanest. I'm excited for this one. This one's got to tune into early on the prelims, but it's going to be a lot of fun going forward. Who's your last sleeper, Derek? All right, right on. So my last sleeper, AJ, um, is going to be Austin Lingo versus Luis Saldana. It's going to be a 145-pound contest, featherweight contest. And this is a sleeper to me because Austin Lingo won 5 of 8 via finish, and he's a tough fighter fighting out of the fabled, the glorious Fortis MMA under Coach Safe Saud. And you know, AJ, I talked time and time again about these fighters coming out of Glory MMA, coming out of Factory X Muay Thai, coming out of Fortis MMA, who are these just, they got the advantage. They got the cheat code. You got 
the coach in the corner who's ready to take you to the promised land. These are these motivators. Some people give Safe Saud some flack because he is one of those like screaming at his fighter. I need to motivate you. And some people like motivation. Some people don't. Either way, it doesn't matter because this man, Austin Lingo, is getting people out of there. But he's got a very tall task in front of him against Luis Saldana. He's 15 and 6. He's won four of his last five via finish. And he's won 14 of his 15 victories via finish, man. Like this dude is a finishing machine. He's dangerous. He's going to be really, really good rising up the ranks in the UFC without a doubt in AJ, man, I'm just going to say this. You're going to have to do a little bit of film study because I know you said you ain't been watching any tough, um, any of the ultimate fighter. We're going to be breaking down a card, I think, next week or something like that that is going to be the uh, Edson Barbosa versus Giga Chikadze and the ultimate fighter finale is coming off after that, uh, coming off of that and with that being said this dude Luis Saldana he has a big win against Vince Murdoch who is like one of the best prospects we've seen on tough so far and uh, this is a dude who had supposed to get you know a UFC shot had to get brain surgery all that good stuff this is a contender series victory so he has a knockout win against Vince Murdoch very impressive and he also has a win against Jordan Griffin in the UFC also very impressive so with that being said that is my sleeper gonna be a banger folks come on this is what we do we do here we talk about bangers.